Hi everybody and welcome to the first real demonstration of Giles, our generic in-game level editing system uh, that we're putting together for Unity. So the big idea here is just to have a really, really simple, both for devs and for game users, a really simple uh, in-game um, editor system. Uh, or just a mapping system, uh, if you use to older terms or whatnot. Uh, basically, just lets your uh, players in your game build their own maps within the game itself. So they don't have to use any external tools. They don't have to pop open Unity, try and uh, do anything fancy. Right within your game, they can go in and have a real simple and most important, fun way of building maps. So just like uh, the big uh, Mario Maker craze, which is awesome and going on. Um, and of course, you know, lots of examples of older games like TF2 and um, Quake and such that really got famous and people uh, still have a huge community around them because of the, uh, the built-in uh, and really good map makers that were in them. Um, so here, first and most important, you as a dev, it's easy. Uh, all you have to do is drop in the, uh, the, or import the asset file, just it'll come right off the asset store or wherever else, um, or drag and drop it in as a folder. Um, and you're up and running. Then you need to create a resources folder and start dropping in prefabs. And that's where you get this resource browser down here. So this panel, um, once you open up the level editor scene, which you just make a, uh, actually I'll go back to the start menu and show this. So let's pretend this is a real game here. Um, and you'd have a button for load map editor, play custom map we'll get to later. So that will simply load the level editor scene, nothing to it. Now they're right in it here, the player can start building maps. So as I was saying, anything that's in that resources folder is going to automatically be shown in the resource browser. So just pop in your prefabs and you're done, nothing to it. Uh, from there, the player can start building maps. So they can just click to add items and start putting a map together. And it's up to you simply to provide them with the tools, or not the tools, we're doing that, provide them with the assets to build whatever it is they might want to make. Just like in Unity, they have complete control over moving. Uh, there's undo and redo built in. You can use those. Undo and redo are not working. Well, that's okay, they will be working. Um, it always happens during a demo, of course. We'll keep moving, it's 1.20 a.m. or something, so we just need to, to get this out there. So, undo and redo um, will exist, partially at the moment, anyway. Uh, undo, redo, you've got a nice uh, obvious tools for rotate, scale, move, the whole thing just like in Unity. Uh, you can duplicate objects, you can delete them from the toolbar, or just use keyboard shortcuts. But basically the player can just get in and start building things. Um, you'll notice over here we have a full inspector too, to make that more obvious. Let's say I drop in a point light, and I as the player want to light up this level and make it so the player can actually see some things or when they go in and play it. So I can move that light around and let's say I need to change some things. Um, number one, on this inspector uh, and with everything else, but mainly this, uh, you as the dev will be able to of course change and control exactly what's um, what's shown there. And we're gonna make that very simple for you. So obviously you don't want the player, or probably not, to see everything from the balance intensity to the shadow bias to the cookie size and all this stuff. You'll probably just wanna give them access to the intensity uh, maybe the color, and of course there'll be a, a proper light picker there. Um, maybe range as well. Nothing nothing too fancy, really. Um, of course you can give them access to all this if you want, but we're going to make it very, very simple for you to control exactly what is available. So I'll just make a second light over here, add a little bit more color. Uh, also, as I'm panning around in the scene here and such, uh, the controls do work exactly the same as Unity. So again, just trying to make this really simple for the uh, both devs and players to get in and use. Uh, okay, so maybe just make this a slightly different color just for fun. There we go. Okay, so here's our level. We're building up. Uh, we could add in maybe just one or two more items for fun. Add these back in, really. And drop that in. Gonna have to add, of course, uh, top down and, and views like that to make it a little easier to snap things or line them up. But with a nice snap system, uh, obviously we have some sort of a basic pro grids built into this, so it's really easy to snap and line things up. 
So again, uh, inspector, you'll be able to control everything that's visible. Uh, one thing important part of that too is uh, skinning. So you'll be able to skin all these GUI bits so that everything um, uh, everything in the level editor will match your game. If you have a bright, fluffy Farmville game, it's the level editor you can quickly change to look like your bright, fluffy Farmville game or something dark and gruesome, whatever it is you're building. Uh, you're not just going to be stuck with something generic and hard to edit. We're really making sure that's going to be easy to customize the look of it uh, to fit your game. So little things. Uh, you can pop up and down the uh, any of the panels to give yourself a nice easier view. Uh, a lot of things like this, you know, we'll kind of be adding in and out as we as we go with as we go with the tool and hopefully get a lot of input from you guys as well um, on what exactly you'd like to have. And these sort of things will be made really easy for you to add in as well. Um, again, I keep trying to, to say uh, we want to make this, it's no good if it's not really, really easy for you, the dev, to use, and also uh, you, the game player, if you're a player watching this right now. Um, has to be fun to use for both sides, fun and easy for both sides, and that is definitely going to be, or it fails, so it has to. Um, okay, so interesting things. Up in the toolbar, we have this little area which gets into the really cool stuff where you can save your scene, and it has a full file browser here that you can go through and save your scene to anywhere you like. It just saves as a simple JSON file. So I'll save this as me and hit save. Now that's saved, I could take it, I could share it out, I could put it on the web, I could do all sorts of really cool things with it. And you could also get from the web if you want to. Also, of course, you can have um, you know uh, ways for your players to share uh, their games really, really simply. And of course, we can load. So if I just hit the open, I have a couple test ones I've built in here. Hit open, and there it is. So as you uh, edit these, you can save them, you can load them, you can share them around, and then of course play them. Uh, for that, let me go back into the test scene we just created, and let's make this playable. So um, get some lights in there. Let's add uh, need some enemies. Drop in that, and like I kind of mentioned in the beginning, we built in a bit of a um, sort of a fake game around this. But the more I work on it, the more I realize it's actually uh, might be fun to build up and turn into something real. We'll see. Um, use the transform here to set that exactly to zero. So player starts at the at the zero, of course, to the same there. So we've got a player, we've got an enemy. Uh, let's add in, say, some health packs. Health packs are good. Um, probably give the player a weapon. Maybe another one further over here if they get there, and maybe some ammo or something. That's an L. So as you're seeing in here too, we have uh, custom icons that you can set up really easily, uh, or that will be easy. Uh, right now it's kind of a pain with our, <laughs> with our system, but it will be easy. Uh, why do I say that? Uh, the, the bad part that is, it will be easy. Obviously we're gonna make sure it's easy for you guys to do that. Um, and that way, uh, as your players are building around, they have a real nice icon system. Uh, if you want, they can do that. Uh, okay, so we got a player, we have enemies, we have fun things to pick up and whatnot, we got lights. Let's go ahead and save this and give it a play. So I'll save this on top of the old one. There we go. Um, before I play this, um, make sure I'm not forgetting anything else because that'll be the end of the tutorial. Uh, not really, this is the basics. Um, we have a lot to go here, of course. Right now it's it's already really exciting to be able to show as it is. Um, and again, as hopefully you've noticed, I'm not running this in Unity. This is a uh, build just run in here. Um, right on uh, my desktop or laptop actually, so hopefully the gameplay is okay. Um, and this will be the same for anyone else. As uh, your players jump in and play, they'll have this. Um, okay, let's play, let's give it a try. So we go back to the main menu, we save this, I'm going to hit play custom map. Again, dig anywhere around with this complete file browser. I'll choose me and hit open. You know, loading screen there. Oops, maybe need a little more, some better lights in here. So I can walk in, need a lot more lights, grab a weapon, grab a different weapon, make some, or find some better AI, <laughs> uh, pick up some ammo for it helps, and play the game that I just created. Everything works. It's a real game that I just created from inside the game and that I really need to work on lighting with. But very easy, I could just go back and edit the lighting, save it, share it out to my friends, upload it for the whole world to see, and and just instantly build uh, how, how awesome your game is. 
uh, with all the, the community that comes from that and everything. So I'm starting to ramble. I'm running off the end here. Um, I think I've gotten across what it is. Uh, Carl and I are really, really excited to get this out and get feedback from everyone. We'll be showing this at Unite. So uh, this September 2015, in case you're watching this some other time in the future or past, potentially, um, we hope to see you there. Come by, take a look. We'll have a build of it. Um, and I think we're probably going to have some kind of mapping contest or something fun going on with it as well. So uh, people can build maps, post them up online, and we can try them out um, and do a prize of some sort. Uh, we'll buy you a beer in Boston. Uh, so come see us there. We'd love to chat about this and, of course, Pro Builder as well. Um, ah, I forgot to mention, just a quick uh, plug for that. Everything in this uh, game scene, weapons, characters, scene, the whole shebang is built with Pro Builder. Uh, skin to the the the, uh, the animations and everything, including the uh, little props and all that good stuff. Uh, also, I should give thanks to helpers in this Ultimate FPS camera for the weapon camera, Shooter AI for the AI, uh, which is probably my fault. It's not working perfectly yet. Um... And a star pathfinding, which really, really is awesome. Um, again, when it's set up by a properly competent person, not myself. Um, so there we have it. Uh, thanks for looking. Sorry for forgetting anybody in those quick credits. Um, again, thanks for looking, and please uh, share around and tell us what you think. So uh, see you in the next uh, very informal video. Okay, bye.